Deputy Speaker, today I rise to speak and thank those who assisted at a fire, a major fire which occurred recently within my electorate of Mitchell. On Sunday 29 November, during a, a weekend of sweltering heatwave conditions that Sydney Siders will remember, a fire began at Water Dragon Way, Moxham Park, stretching from Winston Hills through to North Mead. Homes in White Haven Road uh, were immediately affected uh, and uh, embers ignited onto a heritage listed house. Uh, Residents will remember the winds that weekend of up to 100 kilometre gusts recorded at the height of the fire as it spread aggressively and quickly throughout uh, my electorate in North Mead. 16 fire trucks, a water bombing aircraft, 100 firefighters responded to this fire and controlled the blaze by late afternoon. Many homes were at risk, but only one house, but thanks to the efforts of firefighters, locals and citizens, received actual fire damage. I want to commend and thank Fire and Rescue New South Wales, RP57, uh, Rescue Pump Wentworthville, together with the 15 other uh, Fire and Rescue New South Wales brigades and the North Rocks Rural Fire Service, who were so quick to respond to this dire emergency in these dire conditions at 10 Whitehaven Road, North Mead. Uh, I also want to thank um, uh, Rescue Pump Wentworthville, first on the scene and returned the following day, um, P58 Pumper Beecroft, T94 Tanker Kellyville, Amy Andrew and Chris Langshaw, uh, the P94 Pump Kellyville, Station Commander Bill Devereaux, uh, David Winchcombe and Josh English, um, AP97 Aerial Pump Huntingwood, uh, P96 Pump Schofield Station, Pump Guildford, Parramatta, CAFS Pump Smithfield, Eastwood, Cabramatta, Seven Hills, Horningsea Park, Silverwater, and the bulk tanker from Hornsby. The Fire and Rescue New South Wales were ably supported by the Rural Fire Service as well from North Rocks. And 11 hours and seven minutes after time of the emergency was called, the fire was blacked out with Fire and Rescue New South Wales due, uh, looking actively for extinguishing hot spots until the evening. Fire was completely extinguished 24 hours after the initial call after those 45 degree days. On a day of extreme fire conditions, I also thank 67 Balkham Hills, Station Commander and Firefighters as they were at a fire in Epping. To the residents who went above and beyond helping each other, the neighbourhoods and the properties, I was texting with people in the street as it was occurring. Uh, I want to make particularly mention of the Campbell Rogers family who that morning had discussed their bushfire plan with Chris, their dad, who's a paraplegic in a wheelchair uh, with limited mobility, mobility. They got him out, they got their mum out, but the three teenage children, Eleanor, the twins, Erica and Peter, decided that if there was time, they would assist with putting out spot fires before evacuating with 100 kilometre gusts, with a fire raging down a bush corridor opposite their house. They evacuated their dad and then hosed down neighbouring properties and douse spot fires when they saw them before the firefighters were able to take over. I want to thank them. I want to thank everyone in that street that helped each other out. That's the great Aussie spirit. I want to take the opportunity to say, get your bushfire plan ready for this summer and, uh, and look after each other as these, this family ably did for our community.